you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, I just want to show you guys really quick. I've done this demonstration quite a few times, but try to make as many of these as possible just to clear a few things up. This right here is the old surface. This is the old surface right here. All right? This right here, smooth, tight, uh, flexible, stretchable, is the new surface that we are now selling our screens on. This is available now on our website. Now, this particular surface, um, the reason why we went with this is because, number one, they ship it to us in a roll. So, um, when we get the screen here, it'll come in a roll. We'll go downstairs, we'll coat it with the chemical, and then it'll be repackaged in a roll and shipped back to you. So you'll be getting the screen in a roll. Now I just wanna add real quick how easy it is to actually stretch out any wrinkles or anything that may appear in this screen, but won't, but may appear. We got this screen as a sample sheet and this screen was sent to us on a fold. It was folded up when they sent it to us in a little envelope. Now, you wouldn't believe this, but this particular screen has something like 16, 17 folds all in it. And we're able to stretch it out and it looks like this once we coat it, it looks fantastic. But your screen won't come in a fold, your screen will come actually on a roll. So it'll be on a roll, wrapped up, and we'll coat it, we'll put it back on the roll. Now, with your kit, you will get a uh, wall mounting uh, bracket. It comes with the little leveler in there, so you can hook it up to your wall. Um, you also get a set of neon lights. So you will get two, two rolls of neon lights, not one, two. You will get the remote control and you will get the, um, should be the conjunction box there. It's right there for the remote control and the power supply and all that. So you'll get this free set of lights and you'll get uh, a mounting kit that will allow you to mount your screen to your wall. Now this mounting kit is really super easy. All you have to do is just basically just hook one end to the wall, the other end to the screen, and just lift it up and slide it in place and it slides back and forth just in case if you mount the screen crooked actually a little to the left or to the right, whatever, you can actually slide into positioning, which is fantastic, which means you don't have to disconnect it. Now, all our screens will come with the smart technology gain from the door. So you don't have to worry about paying extra because the screen has a higher gain. Now, to tell you the truth, those of you that are buying screens for the first time, just to let you know, if you don't know this already, those of you probably do, you will pay for the color of the screen if it's white, it'll be cheaper. Anything else, it'll be more expensive. You will pay for the gain of the screen. If your screen is a 1.1, it's gonna be cheap. If it's a 1.4 and higher, it's gonna cost you more money. You will pay for the ratio size, which means if your screen is four by three, it's a cheap screen, but if it's 16 by nine, 16 by 10, or 235.1 or 239.1, it will cost you a lot more. Now, with that being said, our screens do not charge for color, we do not charge for the gain, and we do not charge for the ratio size. All our screens are blackout cloths from 100 inch to 177 inch, come from 16.9, or 16, sorry, 16.9 from the door. They come with three color options, which you can have the ultra light silver 3D, the dark silver, or the 4K black, if you choose, and they all come with neon kits so just think if you go out and you buy blackout cloth and i know about blackout cloth trust me i've had customers who bought blackout cloth off amazon and they will contact me and says hey look the screen doesn't pop it fades when i turn the lights on it doesn't look like a real hd tv do you have a screen paint that i can paint over it so i've sold my screen paint to customers to repaint over their pre-existing blackout cloth that they bought and just imagine if there's a blackout cloth from the market that can outperform a lot of the high-end screens on the market that has an amazing gain capability that has free color options that and I don't care where you go at and you buy your blackout cloth they are not going to give you a free set of neon lights or the brackets to hang it up you'll have to figure that out yourself but that all comes with your kit now we're going to take the new surface and this is my frame that I built for my new surface very easy to build um, this is my old surface old frame right here and we're going to bring it over here we're going to lay it against the wall because this is a new surface, and this right here is a surface um, that I first painted when I first started doing the uh, Crystal Edge Technology screen. Unfortunately, the surface that we wanted is a PVC, and this is a PVC material, and this is the same thing, but the problem was we just couldn't find a company um, that came close to this material, so we had to go with the 16-ounce uh, vinyl, 
and uh, now just in time we we're able to find a company uh, thank the Lord on that one find a company that has the PVC material for a very reasonable price they ship it out on a roll which is fantastic and that's a win-win-win for our customers on top of that uh, out of all that you guys will be getting these screens with free shipping and if you have a PO box we can ship to that too all right so let's remove this really quick all right, so there is the new surface. Look how smooth it is. Now the ultralight silver is gonna be a little bit brighter than the dark silver. But there's the screen right there. And this is one of the things you don't have to go through when you actually buy our screens. So a lot of people, the biggest problems they have is um, they have a lot of light in the room, so they have to have their place looking like the bat cave, but you can have all your lights on. It doesn't make a difference if you have a long throw or a short throw projector. And you don't have to have an expensive projector. I mean, so many demonstrations I've used, I don't know if it's wrong here somewhere, I think it's downstairs. I've used my uh, uh, NEC BT595 projector, which is about 2,000 lumens. That projector is about 160 bucks. Some places you can get it for like $60 at the most, probably 60, 70. All right, so with our screens, you don't have to be a professional. You don't have to professionally mount your projection screen, projector on the ceiling. Because see, the reason why you might have to do that with a lot of these other companies. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab this sample sheet. I just wanna show you really quick. It's on the floor, but it shouldn't be on the floor. This right here is a sample sheet from Elite Screens. This is a Dark Star 9. Now I'm not slandering their company in any way, but here is the viewing angle, which is 180 degrees, and the gain is 0 0.9. This is their Dark Star 9. This is their Elite Prime Vision. Now. What happens is when you have a screen like this that has this kind of material, um, when you have your projector sitting on the floor, the projector has to be in line with the screen in order to execute a perfect picture. Now my projector is sitting on the floor. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, my screen is not having a problem with the projector on the floor. So I'm going to take the Dark Star 9 and I'm going to put it up here against our screen. Now you can see it right, there's a the Dark Star 9. Because the way the projector is positioning, the picture quality looks like this. But our screens don't have that problem. Our screens, you can position your projector anywhere you want. If you want to put it up on the floor, you want to put it on the crate, whatever you want to put it up on, you don't have to mount it to the ceiling if you don't want to. It doesn't make a difference. Our screen's going to look fantastic either way. I can go here on an angle. And look at this. Now you got screens on the market that'll cost you five grand. And you know who we're talking about who can't do this. They literally cannot do this. They cannot allow you to allow you to view your screen on an angle. So you'll have to have the screen and a dedicated theater. Everybody would have to be sitting right here in the center of the screen in order to enjoy it. Because you know, if you go on the side, they turn black. So the screen got darker. Now see with this, as I proved projection positioning and I had someone tell me come into a room and tell me my, my channel tell me hey the projector is not on the floor it shouldn't be on the floor it's supposed to be mounted properly it's supposed to be in line with the screen well as you see my screen is not having a problem with this and it's using short throws some of these screens cannot be used with short throw and I'm not having a problem but yet if I use this it doesn't work out well so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to bring it down in line with the projector all right so now it's a little bit more viewable as you can see it's a little bit more viewable here right bring it down it's a lot more viewable still our screen's brighter but still it's a lot more viewable than it being up here and becoming dark and the reason why like i said your projector would have to be in line with the screen so here i have to bring the projector screen down so it's in line with the projector from here to there. And as you can see, you can make out the screen a lot better right there. But when you bring it up, it becomes black. And this is what I'm trying to explain to a lot of people out there when I do these demonstrations and how advanced our screens are. It doesn't make a difference where you put the projector. If you put it on the floor, it's gonna look fantastic. Put on a couple of crates, you stick it out in your backyard and you have it on a, on a picnic table, whatever you decide to put it at, it's going to look amazing. No matter where you view your screen at, no matter where you set your projector at, it doesn't make a difference. 
the color of your walls and you go to a lot of these um, open form sites and they, the, um, these uh, audio video sites from projection screens and so forth and they'll tell you that hey look you want to project a, a professional looking uh, setup your walls can't be white because white walls actually generate more light we're not having that problem here you have to have a certain kind of projection projection screen projector you can't use short throw we're not having that problem here so this is what I'm trying to explain to you how advanced these screens are now you consider the fact that those screens will cost you an easy one thousand two thousand even five thousand dollars just for a hundred inch screen a hundred inch screen from us will only cost you four hundred and sixty eight dollars that's it and it will come with free color options it will come with neon lights it'll come with the whole nine yards you can build your own screen now say if you don't want to build your own screen say hey i don't want to build my own screen i just want a motorized projection screen we have that too we have a motorized projection screen we have a screen that's 100 inch, 16 by 9. It has the same high tech uh, crystal edge technology chemical on it that does the same thing that these screens do. It's motorized, and that screen's about uh, $795 with free shipping. Free shipping on that screen. Now, say if you don't want that kind of screen, you want a rear projection screen. Well, we have a rear projection screen too. I'll put those videos at the, uh, sorry, I'll put the demonstrations at the bottom of the comment section. I'll put the rear projection screen and I'll put the um, the uh, motorized screen uh, demonstration. But the rear projection screens can be used for front and they can be used for rear projection screen. It's just freaking amazing when you think about what the crystal Asian quantum like fusion or chemicals can do. Also too, when you consider the fact that why would you spend $5,000, $3,000, $4,000, $1,000 just for a 100 inch screen? Our screen at 177 inches, 16 by 9. Now, mind you, my screen right here is about 180 something. The screen is 177 inches, 16 by 9. That's a really big screen. That screen will only cost you $922, and it has this kind of capability. Look at that. So it just shows you you don't have to spend a lot of money for a high-end screen. So let me go over here and let me start this demonstration real quick so you can see how magnificent this screen is going to look. It's going to blow your socks off. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Got to pause that for a minute. I forgot something. There we go. Let's open up a window in here. It's just not bright enough in here, don't you think? Don't you think they should be brighter in here? It should be a lot brighter in here, don't you think? All right, let's do this. Now we got the window open. We have plenty of light coming in because you can see the light that's actually hitting the lamp and it's actually casting a shadow onto the screen. So you can see this light coming from the window. Let's get up another staircase. And there's the new surface. As you can see, look how amazing it looks. That's the new surface. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screen using Smart Technology Gain. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Just to let you know, the Crystal Edge Technology Screens and Quantum Light Fusion and our Projection Screens, 3D Screens, are all available now.